82 years ago, Grant Wood painted a portrait of a man, a woman, and a pitchfork in front of a farmhouse. That painting, American Gothic, is one of the best-known works of American art. The house and the painting still stands. As Michelle Miller reports, the woman who lives there gave up life in the fast lane for the values of America's heartland. The little house in Eldon, Iowa, has come to speak volumes about America's hardworking, simple past, even with just a glimpse of it behind the dour farmer and his spinster daughter in that 1930s American Gothic painting by Grant Woods. Two, three. People still stand in front of it, dressed up like the pair did some 80 years ago. Around here, Gothic American still matters. <laughs> was celebrated Saturday at the Gothic Days Festival. Now, though, there is an unlikely tenant living inside the tiny old house. Beth Howard is an author who makes pies, lots of them. She used to make pies in Malibu and counted Barbara Streisand and Steven Spielberg among her customers. You have one stove, one fridge, you make 60 pies a day. Oh, you mean like, is that how I make a living? Yes. Uh, no. You can't no, make a living no. off pie. It's really passion, you know, it's, it's good for the community, it brings people here. People come from all over to her pitchfork pie stand. Hi, Hi Marlene, you're, you're from Minnesota, Minnesota right? Yes. Yeah. In a town that has seen better days before the railroad closed and the population dropped from 2,000 to 950, Quiet Eldon on the Des Moines River has received an unexpected jolt from Beth Howard. Two apple crumbles, okay. Locals join her to make the pies. And high school students get to work in a place where there isn't much work. It's right. addictive. Uh, you can use a spoon, but I always like to mix stuff with my hands. Beth came here, came back to her native Iowa after a long trip in the fast lane. You've been a coffee importer, mm -hmm. a writer, a publicist. Web producer. Web producer. Right. And that web producing job is the thing that sent me into what I call my pie baking sabbatical, which I'd spent 16 hours a day in front of a computer. Oh. Yeah. But it was the sudden death of her husband in 2009 that caused her to change her life. What brought me back here was my grief, you know, honestly. It was the one year anniversary of his death. He died of a ruptured aorta and I just wanted to be somewhere that I thought would be grounding and distracting in a positive way. And first and foremost, I saw this as kind of a writer's retreat. You know, I thought it was tucked away, it was very rural, quiet. Mm. Ha. Huh. It's quiet in the winter, well. but not in the summer. So, you know, it's kind of like if you can't beat them, join them. Her home, though not open to the public, also is an Iowa State-run tourist attraction. I feel like what I am is a risk taker. Like, everyone tried to talk me out of renting this house. I just said, I don't know how it's all going to work out, but I'm willing to give it a, a shot. And that's what I think most people are afraid to just try it. Yeah. She has been the American Gothic House resident for two years. She wrote Making Peace, a memoir of love, loss, and pie, sitting right here at the table where she rolls out the dough and overcame her fears. How are you? I tasted one of your pies last week. It changed my life. The Pitchfork Pie Stand sells more than 80 pies on a summer weekend. She says she doesn't do it for the money. The one thing she's clear on is she does it for peace. For CBS This Morning, Michelle Miller in Eldon, Iowa. Mm. A great story. I've never had a pie that changed my life. I well, need to make me. I need to. I think to we Elden. need to try them. But you know the thing that stuck with me at that story. I always thought that that painting was the husband and wife. Did I did you guys too. know that she said it was the husband and sp I hate the word spinster, spinster daughter. Did you know that? No. I did not know that. See, we learn something new every day. Every day on a was the spinster daughter, and B yes. pie can change your life. Yes. In more ways than one. I like it. I was struck by the notion of the tragedy and, and how yeah. that affected her. And, yes. and where do you go to seek some relief and, and some sense of change from mm -hmm. grief? Yep. And she's figured that out.